The mosque of Al-Azhar was built 100 years before the Norman conquest. Its name literally means resplendent or radiant. But it was suddenly realized just before the royal visit that the carpets were far from living up to that name. Workers were drafted in to try and remove the dust of centuries in just a few minutes. The Princess of Wales has become a keen observer of Islamic traditions. The introductions went smoothly enough, but the sticking point came with her right shoe. Strictly, the arms, legs and head of a woman should all be covered, but the princess's outfit proved totally acceptable today. But she remembers all too well on a similar trip to a mosque in Pakistan last year, the religious authorities arraigned a local imam for letting her in with too much leg showing. Here, though, the discussion was about the venerable history of Al-Azhar. It claims to be the oldest university in the world. It still is the foremost center of theology in Islam. Quranic studies today continued throughout the royal visit. As the princess struggled to control her headscarf, the director of the institute explained how the mosque was named after the daughter of the prophet, Fatima. And as she left the central courtyard, she was given the traditional farewell. Salam alaikum. God's peace and blessings be upon you. David Chater, ITN, in Cairo.